Introducing first the fighter to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, this 23-year-old fighter, weighed in at 82 kilos at a height of 182 centimeters. Coming in with an undefeated, perfect record of 11 wins, zero losses, from Leipzig, Germany, Benjamin Brinza! And his opponent, standing to my left, fighting out of the red corner. This 24-year-old fighter weighed in at 81.7 kilos with a height of 175 centimeters. Also undefeated with eight wins and zero losses from Ferrara, Italy, Shimon Tex Tessari. Action begins, Mr. Yuji Shimada. Well, what a monster clash this is going to be. We're going to see shock and awe in the mid pit here. Pre fight, pre fight. Cut gloves. He's going up. Skill, passion. That's what this fight brings. A perfect record of 7 and 0 oh for Shimoni Tesari, beaten only by Benjamin Brinza at 11 and 0. Oh. Height advantage goes to the German. Tesari will have his work cut out here. Good display of skills. I'm a Gary, Bushiro Miwashi Gary to use the karate vernacular. Rinja tries to take it to the ground, replied by Tashari. Overhook, Rinja trying to control, control Tashari in the clinch. Good thumping, knee strikes. Can Brinza recycle this? Nope. Restart. Referee Yuji Shimada takes it back to the stand up. Double leg takedown. They hit the mat. Brinza rolls over. Now being held in Tashari's open guard. And Brinza trying to pass. Now we know that Tashari has the ground and pound skills. But is Brinsa going to beat him at his own game? Powers up. Tashari spoiling. Brinsa in the upright. Not able to get the leverage though to stay there and deliver payload. Locked in as the guard closes. Good skills from Shimone Tesari. He's locked down Brinza. Brinza breaks. And Brinza has a leg. Can he make purchase of this? Tesari returns the compliment. Tesari. Shots there, they're big straight hits, they're making contact. Rinsa has to reevaluate. Tashari making the most of this. Dropping payload. Underhooks from Rinsa as he brings Tashari in close. Tries to roll his man. Brings him in, ties him up. But look at the strength and the power from Tashari. Ground and pound is where this man lives. Brinza, not going to make any purchase from that. Tashari straight in. Superb recycling. The knee strike goes to work again. But look at that body. 
heavy slant. Big valley drop, Tanya Toshi. Boom, hits the canvas, and Brinson now in full mount. Tasari left himself open. Can Brinson take advantage of this? That face says it all. I think he can. Well, look at this. Submission territory. Tashari's turtled up. Brinsa, rear mount. Can he get the choke on? Oh, it's a dark day in the woods for Shimoni Tashari. Turtled up pretty well. Not allowing Brinsa to get the hand in. But he has now. Can he leave her? He's got the choke on from that rear mount. He's just being destabilized by Tashari. He's hooked in. Can he bring it on? Look at the power! He's rolled him over! He's hit the mat! Straight in and over the top! Has an advantage, Tashari. Brinser is still locked in. Tashari will have to get seriously tactical. There's the 10 second clapper. We'll see nothing meaningful here. He can't manage to get any purchase, Brinza. Well, my goodness me, talk about close to the wire. Tesari, absolutely brilliant evasive skills. Managed to keep Brinza out of the choke. Brinza has seen a light at the end of the tunnel, though. And something's got to seriously, radically change in Shimoni Tassari's approach to this. Round two of a scheduled three here at Abu Dhabi Warriors. Coming to you from the Adnec Exhibition Center. If you've just joined us, I'm Senze Will Vanders. We go to round two of an Abu Dhabi Warriors Rules MMA competition. Pitching Benjamin Brinza of Leipzig, Germany, fighting out of the blue corner against Italian fighter Shimoni Tashari. Both fighters undefeated. The first round was a close game of cat and mouse with Rinsa having the advantage, but the ground and pound stylist Tashari dropping payload onto Benjamin Rinsa. Well, a sparky start to this second round. There can be no doubt about that. Both fighters. Shock and awe tactics to bring it on at the start of this second. Tessari, landing shot. Rinsa using the bicycle kick to throw off his opponent. Brinza goes down, driven across the mat by Brinza. Well, Simone Tassari, an absolute master at ground and pound. And we saw there hitting the target. In fact, he had more connections with a chin than a Beijing phone operator. He was in and out like a fiddler's elbow, making good, solid contact with Benjamin Brinza. Brinza driving up. 
from that full mount. Tesari locked in. Sliding down and under, Grinsa turns, turtles. We've seen the power of Tassari. He literally, from being in a disadvantaged position with Grinsa on his back, he picked the man up, turned him over, boom, body slam. Big right hand there from Grinsa, but it would have been moved not to. Tassari landing the shots now. This could be it. Grinsa uses the legs again to great effect. having to wear this. They can continue, it's on the ropes. Referee allowing it. Grinza having to defend. This time Tashari round the back. Simone Tashari from that rear mount. Can he work some magic? No, Grinsa from the turtle. Well, not being allowed to slide out. He's been hooked in. Well, a reversal. As Benjamin Grinsa advantages himself. Tassari turtles up. Tucks in, goes to ground. Grinsa looking for gaps, looking for holes. Well, we've just over half a minute left in this second round. We knew it was going to be close. No one's going to give a perfect record up easily. Tassari again, as elusive as Kaiser Sutsi. Grinsa just cannot find the target and cannot make anything work. There's the 10 second clapper. Don't dance, don't dance, don't dance. We'll hit the bell, even though Grinsa just managed to advantage. On the bell, it was a strong finish from the German. Middleweight clash between Benjamin Brinza of Leipzig, Germany, and Simone Tashari from Ferrara, Italy. You could not put a piece of paper between the performances of these two fighters. Brinza comes to this with a fight record of 11 and 0. Tashari, 7 and oh. It's a long way to come to lose a perfect record. What are we seeing here now? Tessari tries to mount from the rear. Rinza slips him off. Rinza trying to pass that guard. Tessari spoils. This is tight. Rinsa working from side control. Tessari. That left leg. Not allowing Rinsa to pass into a mount position. Settles for 
for open guard, Tassari. Really working the defence. The aggressor very much, Benjamin Brinza, at the opening of this third round. Referee restarts, and we go to the upright. Slipsy, good silky skills. Tashari drops down. Brinza went straight in. Down he came. Tashari, double leg takedown. Very slipsy. The ground and pound. Tashari advantaging himself on the ropes. Well, Brinza exiting the ring. back to restart well we knew neither one of these fighters was going to be wanting to give up their perfect record easily there's the feint Tashari drives forward off the back of a fainted right hand goes for the double leg takedown brings her ready working round the back from the top. Big knee strike goes in. Tashari just looking at his corner, taking instruction. Tashari. Torn off shotgun there, driving forward. What a matchup given Tashari stepped into this with just a few weeks preparation. level, Tashari's not going to let him in. Rinsa has the advantage. Rinsa landing shots, they're not clean. Well, the clock is against a clean win for either fighter at this stage. With just 30 seconds left, in this third and final round. This is gonna to go to the wire. There's the 10 second clap up. It's gonna to go to judges scorecards. It's our first fight this evening that's gone the distance. There's the bell. Rinsa throws his hands up. But we're gonna to have to wait for a Official verdict on that. I thought it was extremely close. And I wouldn't like to hazard a guess as to where the judges will go with this. It's going to be tight. We have three very capable and independent judges from Brazil, Mr. Alex Paz, from the Republic of Belarus, Mr. Sergei Savgiev, and from Russia, Mr. Dmitry Savanov. Let's see how they've scored this.
have a winner. The announcement is yet to be made. In a sense, it's a shame that someone has to lose after such a tightly fought competition. After three hard-fought rounds, the judges have rendered their decision. Judge one scores the fight, 29-28 for Brinsa. Judge two scores the fight, 29-28 for a unanimous decision. From the blue corner, Benjamin Brinsa. Brinsa's done it. It was always going to be a tight call. Majority decision for the fighter who was the most aggressive. Benjamin Brinza remains unbeaten with a record of 12 and 0.